Hell's awesome. Lovely waveforms, my friends. Hello, my name is John Skippy. I'm cool. Hands together, head bowed. Welcome. I am thrilled to get to show you a new, absolute, stunning recreation of an analog synthesizer. This is SEM. This was the came out first for Tom Oberheim in his synthesizer uh, career creation development. Followed after in after putting eight of these into a keyboard and so forth to make what's known as was the eight voice at the time and stuff like that. It's available in software form as OBE from GeForce. Which is eight SEM modules. Each of these boxes equal a voice. And if you hit the little zoom button right here, it looks very similar to one, the interface for SEM right here. So go like this. So it's just one piece of that bigger pie, but it sounds great. It's very, very flexible. Um, we have unified this for my Unify plugin that we sell at my website, pluginguru.com. We are now up to over 80 synthesizers we have unified the factory patches for including OBE, which is another one that we've unified. What's cool with the SEM unified library is I've made 24 of these monophonic patches into polyphonic patches. So you can play eight voices of the sounds and it sounds great. It sounds really, really good. I'm going to show that at the end of the video because this first part is of course all about this new synthesizer. But be aware if you're interested in getting this synthesizer to do even more, be polyphonic. There's a patch with like 19 layers of wave sequencing in the unified library. Um, I'll show that some at the end of this video. Now, if you want to play with this, what's really fun, you can go over here to the sequencer and hit record and Turn off record, and now when I play a note, right? <laughs> I bring down decay. Just bring down the effects. And if you make it totally dry. <laughs> Beautiful filter. Space it out more if you want. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Uh, some other patches. Now, if you notice on the arpeggiator, one thing that's cool I want to point out, you have mono retrigger which means every time a new note is played, it retriggers the envelopes. If you set it to Lakato, then it retriggers the notes to play new notes, but it doesn't retrigger the filter. So it can do sweeps. Right? Stuff like that. It's really, really cool.
So, you have the choice over here what waveforms it is. That sawtooth, go to a pulse, and now you're changing the pulse width. If you double click, that will set it to volumes of zero. So if you bring all three to zero, no sound. There is an init button over here. Give you initialized synth. Hit load to go to the various categories. There's an alpha category page, which has 50 patches that really kind of show off everything you can do. So if you want to show it off to your friends and stuff like that. The patches in alpha you'll find throughout the rest of the library. Now I've had this for a little while to play with, but I don't know what it's going to sell for. So I, I can't give you that information right now because it's not out yet. Right? Okay, so awesome. Now let me show you what we can do with Unify to take it a step further. So here it is in Unify. Great. Right? Love it. Now, inside of the unified version, if you go to the knobs, all four pages have been set up. And then the power of Unify that's really, really fun is you can go over here and say Unify Layer and any patch you select will be added to this patch. It actually can load up to 24 plugins on separate layers that are separate patches. So if I say um, Full Range, Fuck My Luck. This is three SEM plugins being played at one time. Let's add, um, we start with classic, let's add stubby. You could even go to other unified libraries for other plugins. Here's Zebra. We can go over here and say, Add Tonto. And if you don't really want the vibe of Tonto, you could go over here and choose something else. You can even like select new patches while the existing patches are playing. And you can do this so you have up to 24 layers if that's what it takes to make the sound. Right? So that's superpower number one of this library when it's in Unify. The other superpower that's really fun is if you go over here to SEM, let's call it Snappy. This is a bass. Sounds great. At the end of the list, after you get through all 480 some patches or so, you're going to find a whole bunch of Z patches. There's 24 that are polyphonic versions of the monophonic patches. So if you go bass snappy and you look down here for the Z bass snappy and call this up, it will load eight layers of this patch. And we've made a MIDI effect called Polybox, which is making it. Polyphonic and these real time knobs.
they work. So anything that I've, I've put harps by these that you can see if we go over here to say something like plucker one. I can only play one voice inside of SCM. In Unify, if I go down here to the Z patches to pluck one right here, it will load up eight. Now, I have done a few edits to the reverbs and the envelopes. Isn't that nice? Brass are all great, 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 great brass. Now you have them as a polyphonic version. At the end of this list, I've wave sequenced a couple patches. This is using uh, Polybox in a different way with a sequencer, our MIDI file player called MIDI Box in front of it. And now I can play one note. And it's cycling through, in this case, seven different patches. And if you want to get really carried away, it'll take a second to load this. But this is 22 layers total. 19 of them are SEM um, playing parts. So, plus drums from Unify. And you can go over here and turn the drums off if you want. Turn off the drone. There's your wave sequence. Scroll down here, you'll see him playing. Just cycling down the list. So everyone will just be a different pitch. Space octave up. And I want to put a really cool reverb on this one hit. So let's go over here and say, give me some nice, long, bright reverb. So. The power of Unify is that all of your plugins become Play-Doh, and you can do all sorts of crazy things with them. So the Unified library gives you all of the patches organized in a cool browser, as well as lots of knobs, as well as the ability to layer all of them if you want. If you want to make a really cool lead, go over here, say Unify layer, and now choose other patches. And let's make a really cool, just random four layer. Hold down option to turn it down just a little bit. Let's pan them so that we get a little bit of cool stereo width and a. Uh, Fun stuff. So, in conclusion, SEM is a wonderful, wonderful representation of an analog synthesizer that has been around a long time, sought after, really hard to get a hold of, really expensive, um, and now it's available in software. And this has the Oberheim seal of approval. It's released on his birthday. It sounds great. It's been unified, and if you have it inside of Unify, it gets superpowers, and all of a sudden it can play four layers of itself. <laughs> Go all sorts of cool places. Um, there's videos on my channel if you want more information on Unify. We made it affordable. It's cross-platform. It loads all of your plugins. Very, very, very fun. So thank you for your time. Enjoy the plugin. Download a demo and play with it, if nothing else, because that filter is so sweet. I mean, it just... Mm. It's wonderful. So see you later. Okay.